An Android project is inherently different from a pure Java one in that it provides multiple build types and support for product flavors out of the box. As a consequence of this, the setup needed to include JUnit 5 into your Android environment is also slightly different. First up, we're going to make use of a third-party plugin which helps with the configuration of JUnit 5 for Android. Make sure to pull it from JCenter from these coordinates. Next, in your application modules build script, apply the Android JUnit 5 plugin underneath the Android Gradle plugin. With this plugin enabled, new functionality becomes available in the Android.testOptions block. You specify configuration specific to JUnit 5 inside the JUnit platform closure. Each available product flavor in your project is now assigned a filters object in here, and this allows you to configure included and excluded test engines and tags on a per flavor basis. For example, if you want to include a tag only for debug builds, use the debug filters object inside JUnit platform and add it there. Just like with the pure Java project, you're going to have to include the libraries for JUnit 5. For Jupyter, add the JUnit Jupyter API to your compile class path and the JUnit Jupyter engine to the runtime class path. If you require backwards compatibility to launch older tests on the platform, throw in the JUnit Vintage engine artifact in there too. <laughs> 